Hi, I'm Sam Crosby, and today is Monday, March 11th, the fourth on the fourth week of Lent. And I'm reading Jesus at the Center. If I'm honest, I must admit that when I intercede for others, they are often closer to the center of my concern than Jesus himself is. Lord, heal Amanda. Help Jack to be the father his family needs. In my own life, too, I've often been more concerned about how others consider me than what God thinks. This double-mindedness tears me in two. Ultimately, I decide that will be at the center of my heart. We see another torn heart in the royal official who begs Jesus to heal his son and to take it gospel. When his father enters this story, his son is at the center of his concern. It's the point that when Jesus greets him with exasperation, he does not try to write his relationship with Christ. But me but merely reiterates his heart's desire. Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus is just a tool to heal this boy. His heart is fixed on his own son. Jesus does not correct or condemn him, but replies regally. Regally, you may go, your son will live. The man's servants find him on the way, and his son is recovering. We hear no more, but somehow during the remainder of his journey, the father's preoccupation with his son becomes wondering love for Jesus. He and his whole household came to believe Jesus is now at the center. Reflection based on John 4, 43-54. name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Patient Father, thank you for making me the center of your concern. Help me to keep my eyes fixed on Jesus, caught up in wondering love regardless of the circumstances of my life. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Today's suggested penance, prayer offers sacrifice for all who are close to death. 